for about a decade, the Ram 1500 has been one of our full-size pickup trucks with the highest ratings. There are numerous reasons for this, including a luxurious interior, a surprising level of comfort during the ride, and, of course, the utility one would expect from a large pickup truck. The Ram 1500, like other full-size trucks, is available in a bewildering variety of configurations that can be dressed up or down to meet the requirements of its purchaser. The TRX, an all-out off-road monster, gives the Ram 1500 the ability to get as filthy as you dare. Specifically geared toward the Ford Raptor, T-Rex vs Raptor, get it, the TRX flaunts an insane 702 strength supercharged V8, suspension intended for fast desert running and enough common luxuries to nearly cause you to neglect your scarcely getting 10 miles to the gallon. You are probably familiar with the Ford F-150 and Chevrolet Silverado which are the Ram's closest competitors. Similar levels of power, capability, technology, and customization are offered by all three of these trucks. The recently redesigned Tundra from Toyota is also back. To determine whether the Ram 1500 is suitable for your garage, be sure to read our expert rating below. We bought a Ram 1500 and drove it for two years and more than 35,000 miles, which is one of the reasons we love it so much. The 5.7 liter V8 in the crew cab, short bed Laramie burned a lot of gas, but the 2019 Ram 1500 was comfortable, capable, and trouble-free despite an unusually high number of minor recalls. What drives the 1500? The 8-speed transmission and the V8 engine were in our test truck. We could recommend this truck solely on the basis of how well they complement one another. It is powerful and simple to drive in almost any circumstance. The Eco Diesel powertrain is largely comparable, particularly if you value diesel torques pulling power. However, the Ram offers a lot more than just solid powertrain options. We have tested a variety of Ram configurations, all of which impressed us with their steady steering, assured braking, and secure handling. The decision made a decade ago by Ram to switch from leaf springs to coil spring rear suspension continues to yield results. How spacious is the 1500? There is little road and wind noise, especially in higher trim levels. Unless you choose to open it, even the rumbling V8 only provides a soothing soundtrack. The Ram 1500 effortlessly absorbs a variety of road imperfections without delivering the bumpy ride that is typically associated with a light-duty pickup truck. Even in the entry-level tradesmen, the front seats are well-shaped to provide comfort and support over long distances. Even the rear bench has a comfortable backrest angle and a surprising amount of recline in higher models. We also like the efficient climate control system on the Ram 1500 which has a slash C vents in the center of the rear seat even though there are three seats in front of it.
How is the inside? The interior of the Ram 1500 Crew Cab is a pleasant place to spend time. The four doors each have their own chunky grab handles that are well placed and open wide to make it easy to enter. There are controls that are easy to reach and a commanding view of the road for the driver. There is ample head, leg, and shoulder room for passengers in any seat. The Ram has more legroom and foot clearance in the rear than other trucks, and the cabin is large. Albeit the rear view reflect is a piece little, the smashes huge windows and cunning hood configuration assist with outward perceivability in general. How is technology? Any vehicle, but especially a pickup truck, would benefit greatly from the optional 12-inch touch screen. It has sharp graphics and a huge map. Additionally impressive is the 8.4-inch Uconnect infotainment system, which provides navigation. In addition to being compatible with smartphones via Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, both feature multiple USB-C ports. In the meantime, the Tradesman's 5-inch screen is familiar with the fundamentals. Unfortunately, driver assistance features are not included as standard equipment with RAM. Parking sensors, forward collision mitigation, and lane departure mitigation are only features available on the Laramie model and higher. When enabled, adaptive cruise control effectively brings the truck to a complete standstill. There is automated parking assistance, and it works well. How are the towing and storage performed? The diesel's tow ratings are among the highest in this class. Most common Ram 1500 configurations can pull more than 11,000 pounds with the V8 or diesel engine, and some can pull more than 12,000 pounds. For storing tools or towing equipment, the optional RAM box locking bins built into the side of the bed are useful. Additionally, there is the option of a two-way tailgate that can open either downward or outward, just like doors. Another area where the truck shines is in the storage space. It has a huge, highly customizable center console, The rear floor, underneath the rear seats, or the back cushions themselves can all be ordered with hidden compartments for the RAM. On higher trims, the rear seat can be folded in a 60-40th split or as a single piece. Fuel economy How much fuel do you use? Depending on the engine and whether you choose rear or all-wheel drive, the Ram's combined city-slash-highway fuel economy typically ranges from the high teens to the low twenties. However, the EcoDiesel V6 achieves the best MPG here. It achieves an estimated 26 MPG combined with rear-wheel drive. It can travel approximately 1,000 highway miles per tank with the 33-gallon tank that is available as an option. Over 923 mixed driving test miles, our diesel-powered 4WD test truck achieved an average fuel economy of 24.2 mpg.
is the 1500 worth the money the slam 1500s form quality from the get-go feels and looks perfect particularly in the more upscale trim levels like large horn laramie and then some however after spending some time in a long-term test truck a few parts failed indicating a lower level of quality than we had anticipated however smash valuing stays pretty cutthroat because Ram's engine options are mostly independent of trim you don't have to pay more for a big engine if you want an efficient V6 in a truck with nice trim on the other hand you can also get the best diesel in something like a tradesman work truck which is a novel option that makes it a diesel bargain compared to the competition that there is nothing more than the standard warranty coverage is not a bad thing the Ram 1500 is a refined and intelligent truck that drives like no other in its class this is largely due to the vehicle's independent rear suspension, which makes it enjoyable to drive and unusually smooth to drive. You won't experience any real reduction in comfort if you choose the Rebel off-road model. The Ram 1500, once known for its big rig styling, is now more stylish and aerodynamic. It does not immediately draw you in with a tough truck theme. The Ram impresses inside with a handsome appearance that is logically laid out and exudes quality. This aesthetic is carried over to the interior. Additionally, the reclining rear seat and 12-inch screen never get old.